All right, so today, this is what we will be doing. And hopefully we can do it without breaking anything. Hey there everyone, it's Sam, your average Joe Lawn Nut. So I've been using my Gardena 400C all year long to cut my lawn, and that thing is awesome. I mean, it cuts really well. It even does some stripes. It's a perfect tool for a smaller size lawn like mine. And I've taken care of it. I've actually did a back clapping just a couple of weeks ago, so it's all sharp and ready for the spring. And as I said, that thing is awesome. I only really have one complaint about it, and that's the handle. It's too short. I mean, I'm six feet tall, and I don't really get how they can release such a good product and call the handle ergonomic and all that, but, but I can't really adjust the length of the handle. So every time I mow the lawn, it kind of hurts my back a bit. And it gotten to a point where, I mean, after mowing a lot during the season, my back really hurts every time I bring that thing out. So hopefully we can get that fixed because I, I don't really think I could handle another season with that thing. I mean, it cuts really good. I like the results I get from the mowing. However, my back just doesn't like it. I mean, even after the back lapping, when it's sharp and really cutting, you don't have to push it as hard. It's still, every time I have to kind of bend like this a bit and do, doing the entire lawn, that kind of takes a toll on the back. So hopefully we can get that fixed today and we'll see if we can use it next season as well. And to be honest, I'm kind of nervous about this because if you followed along with my channel, you know that I, I'm not the best when it comes to these things. I mean, I'll give it a go but you never know if I can get things back together again. That's kind of typical me. I'll always give it a shot, but I can never guarantee that I'm gonna get, get it back together and working again. Keep your fingers crossed, this will work. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never seen anyone do this. So first I need to get the handle off of the actual mower just to make it easier to work with. I don't want it to be stuck on this. And it should come off pretty easy. Should I just depress this? There you go. Now for the other side as well. All right, so the handle's off. Now we can just start cutting it and see if I can get it back together again. All right, so the handle's off. So my idea is to cut it off about here and here and lengthen that bit. And I'm actually just gonna use wood to connect the pieces again. I, I don't know, I, I like working with wood. It's so easy to work with. And if you do mistakes, <laughs> I mean, come on, it's me. I'm probably gonna do a couple of mistakes. It's easier to fix with wood than using metal. So I'm just gonna use a piece of wood to just connect the pieces again and make it longer. So hopefully that works. So now we'll just cut these off. All right, that's one side off. Don't you just wish sometimes you had a lightsaber or something? I wish I was a Jedi and I could just zoom, zoom, and it, it would be done. But no, I don't even have power tools for this. Just using a regular saw. I would strongly recommend you getting a power tool or a lightsaber. Preferably a lightsaber. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So that's one side off. Let's take the other one as well. All right, that was the easy part. I have the two parts here now. Got them off. I mean, I was never worried about getting them off. My concern is with getting them back on again. And I did it even without a lightsaber. So the idea, idea now is to just put a piece of wood in here, screw a hole here and a hole here, and kind of just use regular wooden screws to hold the piece of wood together and kind of lengthen the handle. All right, so this is the wood I have for this. And as you can see, it's not gonna fit. So I just need to file this down a little bit just so it fits in the hole. Right now it doesn't fit, but it's pretty close. I think these are pretty much the same size. So I guess I just need to take it down this much. So I'm just gonna use one of these. I don't know what you call them in English. Is it just a file? In Swedish we call them feel or rasp, but I'm not sure what it's called in English actually. Maybe it's just a file. So I'm just gonna file this down just to fit the hole. But first I'm just gonna cut off the length I actually want. And this is also one of the good things about using wood. I mean, this is quite a long piece. So if the first one doesn't fit, I can use it a couple of times. If it needs to be even longer, then I can just remove that piece of wood and just take another one that is a bit longer. So again, wood is a bit easier to work with. So let's just cut off the length I think I need or the length I think would be enough to not hurt my back. So I actually just want to prolong it about four inches, which is about 10 centimeters, but I'm just going to take 20 centimeters. So about eight inches, 
because I, I, I think a couple of inches will go into the hole. So I think I will end up with getting about four inches or 10 centimeters. But again, it's wood. If it doesn't work, then I can just use another piece that is longer. So we'll start off by just using 20 centimeters. So about eight inches. I mean, it's not an exact science. Again, since I don't have a lightsaber, I'm just using a normal saw. Then we'll need another piece. Also eight inches, just about. Now, now you might think I would be better off securing this, but I, I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> so now I have my two pieces. Now I just need to file them down a bit. All right, I'm, uh, I'm just using a knife instead of this. I think that's easier. Now we'll do the other side. All right, I have my two pieces and I've add, and I put them on the handle. So the handle is about four or five inches longer now. All right, so all that is left now is just to create some holes for some screws so I can get this thing to actually hold. And that's it. And then we'll try it out and see if it still hurts my back. And maybe we need to lengthen this again. I have my drill holes now for the screws. Now I'm just gonna use a smaller drill to drill into the wood so I don't crack it when I put my screws on. Just a smaller hole. Just make sure it's even. So just about four inches. Now to just tighten everything off. All right, and that's it. So I've lengthened this about four or five inches. So I put screws, two screws on each side. And I'm pretty sure some of you watching will say, is this guy an idiot? This looks like crap. But I mean, I kind of like the look of it. I mean, sure enough, it is a bush fix. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that, but it still looks good. I like it. It's almost like in the Marvel movies when Thor gets a new hammer and uh, Groot uses his hand to make a handle for it. It's almost the same thing. Thor's new hammer, a Gardena handle for a push lawnmower. That's about the same, I would say. <laughs> I don't know, but I still like the look of it. And it was easy to do. I mean, all, all in all, what did it take? About 15, 20 minutes. Just use a knife to get the wood the size you want. I mean, preferably you would get the size that will fit in right away, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just had to make my own, but it looks good and it and I'm, it feels solid. And even if it breaks, I mean, these took what, five minutes to do and I already have the drill holes. So uh, if something happens, if I want to make it longer, if I want to make it shorter, then I'll just replace it and it takes about five minutes. So no worries. I like the solution. I mean, if you don't use metal, but all right, so let's put the mower back together and let's see if it works. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't hurt my back anymore. If, and if it still does, then again, I'll just replace the wood and make it even longer. No worries. All right, so let's give it a go and see how it feels. All right, I'm done mowing the entire lawn and I can say that I don't feel anything in my back. I mean, of course, it's still an effort to mow the entire lawn with a push mower but i don't feel the same pain in my back as i did before i lengthened it i mean as i said i wasn't planning on doing this this year i thought maybe i'll do it next year but after the last mow i just kind of got fed up I, my back couldn't handle it anymore it, i had so much pain after the mowing last time if you're six feet or longer you might need to lengthen the hand handle like i did i mean it works with all push reel mowers you don't have to have a gardena to be able to do this you can do this with any push reel mower basically and you can choose how to do it if you want to work with metal use metal i like to work with wood so i chose wood and i like how it looks and i use just a normal knife to kind of get it the size i want i mean i call this a knife if you're from Australia, I know some of you are, you might not call this a knife. Uh, 
and I bet you're not sick of that joke either. <laughs> Just go ahead and lengthen the handle. Trust me, your back will thank you. I'm actually quite surprised how much of a difference this made. I knew it would make some difference because, I mean, I just don't have to bend as much as I did. But going from a lot of pain to this, I couldn't feel anything in my back. I was quite shocked, so I, I would advise anyone that is a bit long for one of these to just go ahead and prolong this. It took me about 15-20 minutes altogether to do this. That's it for today's video and I wasn't meant to do another mower video. I know people might get sick of me talking about this mower. I mean it's just to push real mower. But I had to do something about this length. And finally I managed to do something on the first try without messing it up. Everything seems to be put back together and working. So I'm quite excited about that. <laughs> That's not like me. Maybe it's because I have a camera on and I feel the pressure because normally I usually tend to mess things up at least once or twice before I get it right. Maybe it's because of the camera and you guys. I know some of you are watching so I, I feel the pressure to do it right the first time. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for today. We saved my back and I hope you liked the video and found some value in it. If you did, remember all the YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.